Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Emily Wagner and I am the Scholarship Program Specialist at Bellevue University. In honor of Financial Aid Awareness Month, Bellevue University and the Education Quest Foundation in Nebraska teamed up to create Financial Fridays, a series of five 20 minute webinar sessions designed to provide you the information you need on financial aid. This is session number four. Today's session is No Regrets, Avoid Debt with Scholarship and Grants. I will be providing information and answering some of the most common questions as it relates to scholarships and grants. Throughout today's session, I encourage you to type your questions and comments into the Q&A box. The moderators will track your questions and I will address them live at the end. If you have questions related to your specific situation, we ask that you include your name, email, and phone number so that we can follow up with you directly to ensure your questions are fully answered. Before I start, I want to let you know that you can hear me, but I cannot hear you. This is because we are recording the session, so those who are not able to attend today can view it later. If you would like a copy of today's presentation and recording, a link will be emailed to you following the webinar. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. I know you are as excited to be here as I am because we are talking about everyone's favorite financial topic today, college funding that you don't have to pay back. These free funds can come from many different sources, and the best news is that there is a lot of free funding available. And when I say a lot, I mean 46 billion, with a B, is awarded in scholarships and grants across the U.S. each year. That means that scholarships and grants can go a long way in helping you pay for college. Okay, now I know what you're thinking, but how do I get awarded scholarships and grants? And thankfully, there are a lot of options. I'm going to go over free funding from the FAFSA, Bellevue University's scholarship application, external scholarships, and employer funding for your degree. I want to talk about the FAFSA first because it is the first step I recommend taking when looking for free funding for your education. It literally stands for free application for federal student aid. Many scholarship applications, including Bellevue's application, use information from the FAFSA to determine a student's need. I know you've learned about the FAFSA in previous sessions, so I won't go into too much detail, but you can automatically qualify for federal and state grants if you meet certain requirements after completing the FAFSA. Grants are free funds that you don't have to pay back. That can mean free grant money on top of any scholarships you might be awarded. And that is some valuable multitasking. If you are not eligible to complete the FAFSA, there are other tools available to get an estimate of your family contribution. For Bellevue University's application, students can complete the college funding estimator through Education Quest Foundation. So if you can't complete the FAFSA, don't think you can apply for scholarships. Just check with the scholarship provider to see if they accept alternatives to the FAFSA. Now let's take a look at Bellevue's scholarship application. We try to make things simple for our students. We have five scholarship application cycles for our undergraduate and graduate, graduate students, and a sixth application cycle for freshmen coming directly from high school. These application cycles correspond with our four terms. So we have two applications for the fall with a third for freshmen from high school, and then one application for winter, spring, and summer terms. What sets our application apart is that you only have to complete one application to be matched with multiple scholarships. That is good news for you because it means less essays to write and less time spent filling in boxes with your personal information. If you want to get an idea of what types of scholarships you may be eligible for, you can use the search by fund eligibility function on the front page of our site before logging in. Some things to note, most of our scholarships do have a minimum GPA requirement. For undergraduate students, this is typically set at 2.5, and for graduate students, it's usually 3.0. And our scholarships that are needs-based have an expected family contribution cap of 20,000. Again, the expected family contribution can come from the FAFSA or the College Funding Estimator through Education Quest Foundation. The search by eligibility tool will pull up a full list of opportunities you may qualify for. 
just be sure to check the dates as they may not all be open at the current time. We have scholarships available for undergraduate and graduate students, as well as local and distant students. We even have some scholarships available for DACA and undocumented students, as well as international students with an F-1 visa. So no matter where you are or what you're studying, be sure to check what we have available and be sure to check back for each application cycle. We have different and new scholarships opening frequently. So now that you know what you may be eligible for, you are probably ready to start the application and try to earn some free money. Before you get started with the scholarship application, you will need to apply for admission at Bellevue University. This will give you a student ID that you will need to log into the application system. Once you have that, you can log in and get started. Once you've logged in, you can double click on the application you would like to complete. Here you can see I have two pending submissions. Once you click an application, it will open to a page like this. And you will notice that a lot of your personal information is already completed. We import that from your student portal to help save time and also to make sure your information is consistent in our systems. Once you've started the application, make sure each of these boxes is completed to 100% and then you are ready to submit. If you are a new student that is not coming directly from high school, you will need to be admitted before you can submit your application. But if you run into any questions, please reach out. We are here to help. Our email is easy to remember. It's scholarships at bellevue.edu. Here you can see a list of our upcoming scholarship dates and deadlines for this year and next year. You can also find this information on our website. And our application is great, but we don't want you to forget about opportunities outside of our application. We have worked to put a whole page of external opportunities together for students. On this page, we list scholarships that we have been contacted about and have checked to ensure they are safe for our students. We have these opportunities broken out by categories such as adult learner, international, and military. This is not a fully exhaustive list, so we have also included other resources. Websites such as FastWeb, College Board, and scholarships.com offer great scholarship, scholarship search tools. At these websites, you can create an account, enter your information, and be presented a list of scholarships that you may qualify for based on your personal information. Education Quest also has a scholarship tool called Scholarship Quest. This tool gives you free access to a database containing over 2,000 Nebraska-based scholarships. If you are a local student, I highly recommend checking this out. There are a lot of outside scholarships and I know it can be overwhelming. Like this puppy, we're gonna take it one step at a time. One of my students recently told me that her strategy is to apply for two scholarships every week. She said it's manageable and she thinks of it like homework or a job. And if she gets even one, it is worth the time that she put in. I recommend that each of you think about it the same way. Make a goal for yourself or help your student set a goal, whether weekly or monthly, for how many scholarships you'd like to apply for. Remember, even one scholarship can have a big financial impact. Some other tips I have for external scholarships would be to not just go after the scholarships with the biggest awards. If you can apply for and earn a few smaller ones, they can also add up to make a big impact. Also, check around for local scholarships. These will typically have a smaller applicant pool and may give you a better chance of being awarded. Some places to check include churches, clubs, and local nonprofits. We have a whole list of places to check on our website, so be sure to check it out and keep your eyes open for opportunities. While thinking of local scholarships, have you talked to your employer about their tuition assistance policy? Many businesses are adding tuition assistance as a benefit, which means you could have some free funds available. You just have to ask. If you or your parent is in the military, be sure to check with your coordinator to see if you have any benefits available through them as well. 
To wrap this up, I just want to say that there is a lot of free funding available out there. And while it's not as easy as just lining up for a bag of money, the effort you put in now will potentially save your future self from years of student loan payments. So be sure to check with your college about available scholarships, search for external scholarships, and don't be afraid to apply for the smaller ones, and also check with your employer to see if they can offer any assistance. We will now open up the session for any questions that may have come in. As a reminder, if you have a question or a comment regarding what was presented, please type them into the Q&A box and one of the moderators will read them aloud. Angie, do we have any questions? Um, we do have some questions, Emily. Okay. Let me pull them up. Okay. So the first one is, um, can I apply for scholarships through the FAFSA itself? or what money is available through that application besides loans? Okay, so the FAFSA it is not dual um, as an actual scholarship application. Through the FAFSA, you'll be eligible for the federal grants, um, potentially state grants as well, um, as well as the subsidized and unsubsidized loans, just all depending on your um, income and different factors that go into the FAFSA. Okay, thank you. Another one is, if I don't attend Bellevue University, can I still look at the external scholarships that are listed on your website, or are they specific to the students that attend Bellevue? Okay, yeah, so that list, um, it's not exclusive to our students at all. So if you aren't attending Bellevue, please feel free to use that. Um, we put that together to help students, even if they aren't coming to us, they're open for anyone. Um, just make sure to check the individual requirements because some of them are specifically for local students um, and some of them are for different kinds of majors and things like that. Okay, and we have one more. Okay. If, uh, if I earn a scholarship from my parents' Elks Club, can I bring that to your university at Bellevue University or another college to help pay for my school? And I'm sorry, you said your parents' Elks Club? Yeah, I think she's saying that her parents are members of the Elks Club. And if she earns a scholarship from there, can it be taken to Bellevue University or any other college to help pay for schooling? Yeah, um, what I would recommend for that student is to check with the Elks Club um, and just make sure that there aren't any restrictions. But as far as bringing in outside scholarships, you're definitely able to bring them into Bellevue. Um, we're happy to get those applied to your account per the provider's instructions for us. Okay, that's all that there was. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you all for attending the No Regrets Avoid De Debt with scholarships and grants webinar. We hope you found it helpful and we look forward to seeing you at our next session. The next Financial Friday session is verification demystification and will take place next Friday, February 26th at noon central time. Thank you and have a great rest of the day.